In Orange, California, the big wigs are making big waves in the salon community. They not only sell wigs and extensions, but they also are a full service salon. Let's go chat with Brandy and Sandy. I am so excited to be here at Big Wigs today. Can you tell me a little bit about your story and how you came to own it? One day my granddaughter and I were shopping in this mall and she has been looking for like a couple months for some extensions. I hadn't found any and there was a big sign here that said going out of business. So I said, well, let's run in there and see if they have extensions. So we did and after we were in here maybe 30 minutes, we just bought the store. So Brandy, can I ask you what kind of products you guys sell here? So we sell toppers, those are really big right now. We sell extensions, all kinds of extensions. We have tape-ins, clip-ins, eye tip, halo, pretty much anything you can think of. We also have ponytails, clip-in bangs, literally any kind of alternative hair you're looking for, we have it. We carry mostly wigs more than anything. Can you tell me the difference between a topper, an extension, and a wig? So a topper is going to clip on in the crown area or closer to the hairline, wherever the client really needs it, where they're experiencing hair loss. And that's something they can take off every night. And then extensions are something that usually people put in for length or extra fullness underneath and that again is something that they can take off usually that night or maybe a couple weeks down the road depending on what kind they choose and then a full wig you put that on and take it off every night so what is your typical clientele I think probably 80% of our clientele are patients that have had experienced hair loss whether it be from cancer or alopecia or some other thing but that's primarily who we cater to and we do everything we can Brandy rolls out the red carpet for them so that they feel like a million dollars when they leave and that's our goal how does someone go about taking care of a wig so depending on what kind of wig the client chooses we sit down with them and make sure they have all the tips and tricks and they know exactly what they're doing when they take their hair home. So typically, to answer your question, for like a synthetic wig, we would recommend washing about every six to eight wears. Are you a full service salon as well? So we're a full service wig salon and a full service hair salon. We have operators who could help you with extensions, color work, haircut, we don't, you know, whatever you need. Whatever. Yeah. So you guys mentioned that you work a lot with cancer patients. Can you tell me your relationship with the NIGU organization? Yes, NIGU is an organization that I think is out of Newport Beach and they were set up by a husband and wife that had lost their daughter at 12 years old wow. to cancer. But prior to her dying, she got to go home, but she was sad about the kids that were left at the hospital. So she put all of her toys in a jar and she kept taking them back to them. So she wanted her dad to continue that. They call it NIGU because it stands for never ever give up. And so they ship these joy jars to kids all over the world. And they have big fundraisers and that's what it's for is to support all of that. And we're, we support them a lot. Where can someone find you online to get in touch with you? So we have a pretty big following on social media, Instagram, Facebook, all that kind of good stuff. Well, should we go check out these wigs? Definitely. Sure. Let's go check them out. <laughs> I woke up like this. I woke up like this. <laughs> Bye, hair. Bye, hair. <laughs> So I would pull your own hair out in the front. So then, then when they look up close and personal, what they're seeing is actually your hair. Feel pampered and beautiful with the help of the big wigs. Let's try another one. This is so fun. 